So I think I see, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Crawley, Lord and Lady Grantham, as very real parents. How do you think you uh, are able to portray that, considering we only ever see your children as grown up? We never see you actually with small children. Well, they would have had, I'm sure, I mean, you know, Robert was brought up in the nursery and uh, presented to, uh, to mum and dad for, you know, half an hour at tea time sort of thing. And that's still the case. But um, I suspect that growing up, Cora wasn't having any of that. And uh, there was a lot more hands-on with our, with our girls, I suspect. Anyway, now that we're into the sixth uh, series of, of the show, Robert is, from Robert's point of view, certainly, uh, he's seeing his, his uh, daughters as, as women, not as the capricious teenagers sort of, you know, scrapping at each other that they were uh, in, the, in, the, in the early years. You know, they've both been through huge romances, huge deaths. They've, all, they've had children. They're women. They're proper women and, and single and independently minded. Um, so I think that's, that's a shift for, for, for Robert. I mean, they're still, you know, they'll always be his uh, little girls and they'll always come to daddy with uh, their problems, or rather hide their problems from daddy until he finds out and then they discuss them. Um, but, uh, you know, they both, they both want their daughter, the best for their daughters, they, but they have different ways of going about it. And, of course, your daughter as well, sibling included, um, make sure you rest in peace, um, have become very pioneering women, I would say, but in very different ways. Where, where do you think those major influences were? Would you say that it's largely Cora, or do you think they get that from elsewhere? Well, don't forget the times are changing. I mean, every, um, uh, as a result of the war, women became a lot more independent, and the fashions changed, and they were able to move and think and be more active as human beings. But I think that... Um, Cora, as a mother, actually changes quite a bit over the course of the series, too. And I have a lot of respect for the character because toward the beginning, when they're younger, she's much more of an involved parent and, and much more um, prone to telling them what to do. But as they become independent women, she does really take a serious step back and she really allows them their independence and she supports them in their ambitions for themselves in a way that she probably never would have supported her own self. I mean, she's, she's very supportive to Edith when she pursues a career. Yeah, and she's very supportive to Mary as well, um, being an independent woman um, and um, taking her time with not rushing her into another marriage. There's, there's no reason to. She, she, she really gives them their space, which is uh, an adjustment for her and probably something that you know we should all learn from as, as parents. It's good. Um, considering Downton is, is set in such a turbulent time in British history, as you were saying, with the, you know, just things changing, why do you think there's such nostalgia for that time, as we see through the, you know, the audience of Downton, I suppose? Well, it's not as if we're living in peaceful times now. I think, no, you know, every, every year is as turbulent, unfortunately, as turbulent uh, uh, as, as, as another. Um, but there are themes in this particular series which I think resonate, consciously or unconsciously, from Julian's point of view, with today. You know, there's a, there's a strong storyline about uh, healthcare. There's a very strong uh, storyline about um, the inequalities of, of, of you know, uh, social inequality. And um, uh, but there's definitely a sense of an end of an era for, for this particular series because we are ending our era of uh, being part of uh, the television landscape. But also, it's the end of uh, it's. In at the end of houses like like Downton, the estates like Downton. The first episode is a graphic example of that when our neighbour has to sell up because he can't make ends meet anymore. He can't he can't continue the way of life that's been around for you know generations. Um, so the, and so I think all these sort of social themes, these economic themes, and uh, and uh, um, you know things to do with class and, and the breaking down of the barriers in class are very much you know as, as relevant today, it's, it, albeit slightly with a different hint, different tone. Has there been anything about your characters throughout the course that has surprised you? So any kind of particular development or way they've responded to something where you thought... Yeah, I've been quite surprised. Robert's IQ has gone down and up again. Uh, he, uh, he, was pretty, he was pretty dim at times and I was all surprised by that. And his insensitivity to things that were staring him in the face, I, I was slightly surprised yeah, at the time. I was really surprised when Corey didn't 
put her hands around Robert's throat and <laughs> strangle him on another But the good side. thing is Julian, Julian always finds redemption in characters, you know, be it, be it Thomas or, or Robert having been a dinosaur, you yeah. There's always something that uh, you're, you're wanting to throttle a character, and actually something redemptive happens, and you and you think actually that's probably like life. People do these stupid things. And you represent such a, a real uh, portrayal of marriage, I think, as well, which is yeah, yeah. No, we've been through we've been through our bumps, and we've got through them, and we're, we're still hanging on in there. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice.